you know the federal judge just recently said that the NSA spying program is possibly the most Orwellian thing he's ever seen and most likely unconstitutional? But that's crap you're not supposed to care about. That's non that's not essential. The important things going on in the world right now now are what somebody that makes duck calls for a living said about a whole entire community of people. That is what you should be focusing on right now. Not any of this uh, constitution stuff. That's that's nonsense. You shouldn't. That's stupid. Nobody should be focusing on that. You need to be focusing on Duck Dynasty. Remember that. It's very important. Now, if you're unaware, apparently somebody that I didn't even know about from a show that I don't care about said something that I don't care what he said about a bunch of people that, you know, I, I, I could care less if their feelings get hurt because I could care less about if most people's feelings get hurt. I'm not, not in the business of, you know, providing happy, fun time feelings for everybody. But anyway, uh, apparently this guy, he said something in an article uh, uh, that was, I guess, anti-gay or something like that, which is his right to do so. That's where people get a little confused when they want to go ranting and raving. So, he said, one of the quotes he said was that a woman's vagina is is more pleasurable than a man's anus. Um, and I guess that was, you know, that was his opinion. That was totally, you know, it was out of whack for him to say something like that. I would have to agree, because, I mean, you know, once bigger, you can go a little bit more exploring. And hell, unless you're dating some sort of a skank, one might be cleaner than the other ones. But I'm no uh, expert on half the subject there, so I won't get too much into that. But that's what he said. You know, a woman's vagina is better than a, a, a man's anus, so, you know, I guess that was taken as some sort of an anti-gay thing. And I think he went on some sort of rant. Who the fuck cares? But what happened is A&E, the TV station that, did, you know, broadcast this show... Uh, they, like, suspended the show or suspended him or some nonsense like this. And this is where the big point of contention happens. On one side, you have people saying they shouldn't be saying that stuff. It's uncon or they, they shouldn't be banning him. It's unconstitutional. Why would you ban him? I bet if it was the Koran that he quoted from, he wouldn't be banned a lot. And on the other side, you have, you have people saying this fucking hillbilly should be banned, this and that, and all that other stuff. So what is the main root of this article? Well, the main root is something, some sort of thing that I've had going in my head for a while that <clears throat> some people just seem to not understand. It's uh, that, that needs to be explained to people. And that is unconstitutional versus somebody versus a personal mindset. Uh, basically is what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to piece this together to, to explain it as well as possible. So take a look at this issue. Uh, the guy was the guy's show was suspended or whatever. Duck Dynasty was suspended or he, he was suspended from the, the show or whatever. So people clamor, that's unconstitutional. That's censoring speech. Wrong. The Constitution has nothing to do with what private government private entities can do. A and E is a private company. It's not run by the government. Therefore, they can do whatever the heck they want. It's not unconstitutional. There's no law saying that they can't do whatever they want. That they can't censor his speech. Whatever. But on the other side of that coin, when I look at a company, I like a company that likes to follow the ideas set forth in the Constitution. While they do have the right to censor things like that, and it's, it's not unconstitutional on the other side of the coin, I personally don't agree with companies, and that's my right to disagree with companies <clears throat> that make decisions that seem like they wouldn't go in line with the Constitution. <clears throat> For example... A store can put up a sign that says no firearms, and that doesn't violate your Second Amendment rights. Again, people get a little confused and stuff. It's not unconstitutional. However, what I like to do is I like to align myself with companies and people and stuff like that that follow the ideas that would make sense if you followed the logic of the Constitution. <clears throat> I'm not going to go to a company or I'm not going to go in a store that says you know, no guns, you, you can't bring any guns in here, even though that is their right to do so. And it's not unconstitutional. That's where, that's that's one of the rebuttal that the, the people that are saying, oh yeah, he's a stupid redneck, you shouldn't have said that, he should have been banned. Uh, what they say is, uh, when somebody says, hey, that's, uh, you know, unconstitutional, it shouldn't have been taken, it shouldn't have been taken down. What they'll say is, oh, it ain't a government agency, it's not unconstitutional, you people are just stupid and stuff like that. And while that's technically correct, what they're missing out is what those people might be saying is the idea of the Constitution, the ideas that are in the Constitution bring forth. Uh, Yes, they have every right to censor it, but if, you, if you're going to follow the Constitution mentality, uh, it seems that you shouldn't be censoring anything. You shouldn't be censoring stuff like that. Okay, that, that's what the idea of the Constitution is. Well, yes, it's not a government agency, and they don't technically follow the Constitution. I like to align with things that would be 
pertinent to the constitutional ideas. Like for my channel, I don't I don't censor any of the comments that come on here. You know, oh, you're a fucking idiot. You're a big bad fuck. All that stuff. I don't censor any of that stuff. Um, even though I do get it quite a bit, but you know that because that's just not me. You know, uh, I'm not required to not do it. I could do it. I could delete every comment that I didn't like, but I don't because it, to me it seems hypocritical to believe in one set of values, the Constitution, where I don't want the government censoring this. I don't want the government taking these rights away. That believing so strongly in that, but then when a private company that doesn't, which isn't actually controlled by the Constitution, when a private company does that, you go all up in arms. That's what I, 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 I don't understand. I mean, it, it seems very hypocritical that you would do that. Like, supporting a company that is uh, anti-gun. Yes, it's not a government entity, but the ideas in the Constitution are, are going along with it. I'm hoping, that's, I'm, hoping I'm making the, this clear enough. But th th there's two things that I wanted to go over real quickly. Um, a, this, the, you know, the, the difference between, oh, unconstitutional and a, a company's personal values. I, again, I hope this makes sense. And uh, B, this is a gigantic load of horseshit. Uh, you shouldn't be focusing on this stupid crap right now. There's other stuff going on. I mean, uh, the spying is ruled unconstitutional. Who, who cares? The government's spying on your citizens. I don't care. I ain't got nothing to hide. Oh, my God. I don't have another. The duck man said something. God damn. Can't have that. No. No. Nah. I think I think the people uh, I think this is showing the real sheepish sheepishness of the sheepishness. I sheep and then I go to sheepy. Uh, the stupidity of the people, the ignorance of the people. If this is what they're all fixated on, and stand with this guy, the Twitter hashtag, stand with this guy, stand with that guy, and I'm just saying, stand with the country's not standing. The country's falling, and you're standing with some fucking duck hunter. What? I don't understand this. I mean, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I, I, would, I would care about what that fucking guy said about as much as I would care about fucking if Kim Kardashian had a second head. I don't give a fucking fuck. Um, as for the comments itself, like I said, I, I would tend to agree with his comments that, you know, a vagina would be more pleasurable than it is. Though, again, I can't speak for half that statement. Uh, but the thing is, if you did, I didn't even read the fucking thing. I, honestly, I don't care. I, I just do not care. But if you went on some anti-gay rant and it was all about God and stuff, I mean, how stupid can you fucking be? Who, if those are your beliefs, that's fine and stuff. But yeah, that's always funny. A little side note here. This is probably gonna piss some people off. But everybody's like, you know, um, oh, I'm a good person, and I, you know, I, I, uh, this is if I was a Christian talking here. Oh, I'm a good person. You know, I, I have all these these morals and stuff. I'm just trying to be a good person. That's great. You know, you get your morals. Try to be a good person. But to me personally. Uh, if you think that your uh, friend, you know, I mean, you might have a gay friend. If you think that your uh, friend is going to burn in hell for his life choices, I'm not sure how good of a person you actually are. But again, that's that's a different topic altogether. I'm not going to talk, talk about re religion online. We don't want to do that anymore. But it just happened to come up with this whole issue. But I don't think people should be focusing on this. I think it's a gigantic load of crap. And uh, I don't. Th I, I'm so sick of hearing this unconstitutional, constitutional. It, it has nothing to do with the Constitution. It's a private entity. However, I do like private entities that support the ideas of the Constitution, i.e. don't censor a whole bunch of stuff. No, again, for the 8 millionth time, they are not required by the Constitution to do anything because that's only about the government. But I do like companies that follow those ideas because those ideas are pretty good. I mean, that's kind of why we like them, you know, in the Constitution, you know, dealing with our government. If we had private companies following those as well, hey, that's good. I mean, they're not bad ideas. They're good ideas. So, well, no, technically, yes, you are correct. It's not it has nothing to do with the Constitution. I do like the ideas brought forth. So he has every right to say that. And A&E has every right to make decisions with their shows. But again, I think it's a very stupid decision they made to um, take them off. But that's just me. They have every right to do that. Stupid decision, but it is theirs. It's not yours to make. So uh, thanks for watching. I can't believe that this is what I'm talking about today. Some fucking duck hunter when all this shit's going on in the world. New York, by the way, is, uh, what, 28 days away from not being able to buy a any ammo legally. But don't worry, you can turn yourself with that. Go get your duck hunter. Go get, go get your duck call. And uh, you have yourself a fantastic day, y'all.